Hi bros, today we've got something different, two high power and high capacity power banks, Flashfish P15 with output power 1500 watt and capacity 1000 watt hours and P25 with output power 2000 watt and capacity 1500 watt hours. I was always curious how those small but powerful power banks will work and after three weeks of using them I am more than impressed. No problems at all. The most important thing about those power banks is that they use high voltage line battery packs 14S so 48 volts. The same voltage is used in big battery packs for home solar inverters. I guess that is why they work really good and I never overheat them as you can see I did some tests I charged my e-bike e scoot outside it was like pretty hot 30 degrees celsius I leave it like this power bank for over 10 minutes and the fan even didn't kick on on max speed so yeah good quality next thing is build quality on the front and back we've got big aluminium plate also on the sides it's aluminium but looks more like radiator. On the top and bottom we've got very rigid plastic. Even if you will carry those power banks by one handle nothing will break. All looks great because those are not very cheap so literally you got what you paid for. Screen on the middle is huge actually that is also why I bought this power bank because it looks insane. You can see what ports are tuned on everything is very visible. And you can also see how fast you are charging the power bank, how long it will take until it will be fully charged and how fast you are discharging power bank and how long it will take until it will have 0%. On the top we've got small storage with included extra cables and manuals. LED on the lid is very bright, very useful and if you click third time on tiny button the LED will bring SOS signal. It could be useful one day, who knows. P15 and P25 got almost the same number of ports, just on P25 we got 3 extra USB ports. Of course we've got standard 5 volts USB and PD which work from 5 to 9 to 12 to 20 volts up to 100 watt. On the right side is 12 volts car lighter socket. Of course you can use it for some standard car fridge or other things which don't need more than 100 20 watts, so more than 10 amps. I tested with LiPo charger and works flawless. On the back we've got two AC outputs. P15 has 1500 watt on AC output and can really handle this power as you can see now. I've been using it mostly at 1200 watt and this thing never overheat. So it's great for camping, especially that built in battery got 1000 watt hours. Why P25 is true multi-purpose beast. On AC output we got 2000 watts, so we can without worries use water kettle, induction cooker and other things. Battery capacity is 1500 watt hours, so 50% more than P15. Cherry on the top is DC solar input with very efficient MPPT, so we can connect any DC source with voltage from 10 to 40 volts to recharge power bank. Built in MPPT is insanely efficient. I connected my old testing solar panel, which is usually not visible for MPPT chargers, but here was not only visible for the power bank but also charging power from it was from 18 to 24 watts, which is kind of insane because I never seen more than 13 watts from this panel. To connect solar panel, you just need to buy this simple car lighter adapter. Plug included cable to the socket on the back of power bank and you are ready to go. Very simple. Just be sure that connected solar panel got not more than 40 volts on open circuit, otherwise you can damage the power bank. But still 40 volts input in this power bank is more than you can find in any others, so it's pretty good. We can also recharge power bank by standard AC and of course it will be the fastest process. In the menu we can choose how fast it should take, 2 or 5 hours. Of course I recommend 5 hours because it will seriously extend lifespan of built-in battery pack, but sometimes we don't have that much time and in 2 hours we can recharge this big power bank. Can you believe it? This is outstanding. Of course fast will be a little bit noisy, but what we can do? Actually we can do something, in the next episode I will show you how to make them a little bit less noisy. Other differences between P15 and P25 are the size, which is not very visible actually, but of course P25 is much heavier because it has 50% more capacity, 50% more 
Lion cells compared to P15, but I guess no one cares about the weight in this case. Worth to mention is that P15 has extra connection for external battery on the back, but I tried to find some extra battery, but there is none on the internet, so I guess this port is not very useful and this feature for now. But no worries bros, those were banks use standard Lion battery pack. In next episode I will show you how you can easily add extra battery pack to this battery pack if it make any sense. Actually it will be super easily like adding extra battery to e-bike, e, e scoot etc. So simple white connector. So for me those power banks are more than decent, works still perfect. Also in Poland now real price per kilowatt hour is almost 40 euro cents which is crazy high. So this power bank plus 500 watt 38 volts solar panel should be good choice for me i can recharge my electric e-bike e, e scoots anytime without worries of stupid high electric bill but we will see